This is Rudolf Navari presenting a study entitled Crossover Safety Study of a Prepotent, Two-Minute Injection versus 30-Minute Infusion in Cancer Patients Receiving Emetogenic Chemotherapy. This paper is done with Michael C. Mosher. The manuscript involves HTX-019, Sivanti, a prepotent, it's an injectable emulsion. Sivanti is an IV formulation of a prepotent, which is a neurocunin-1 receptor antagonist. Sivanti has been approved in 2017 as a 30-minute infusion for use in adults in combination with other antiemetics for prevention of acute and delayed chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting with initial and repeat courses of highly emetogenic chemotherapy and moderately emetogenic chemotherapy. Savanti has demonstrated a tolerable safety profile when administered via a 30-minute IV infusion and a 2-minute IV injection in healthy volunteers. The rationale for the current study and the objective is to assess the safety of HTX-019 Savanti as part of a guideline-recommended three-drug regimen for chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting prophylaxis in patients with cancer receiving moderately emetogenic chemotherapy or highly emetogenic chemotherapy. The main objective is to evaluate the adverse events occurring during the 30 minutes following the start of a two-minute injection or a 30-minute infusion of Savanti. The study design was a prospective, single-center, randomized, safety, two-sequence, two-period crossover study evaluating Savanti within a guideline-recommended three-drug regimen for chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting prophylaxis in patients receiving highly emetogenic chemotherapy and moderately emetogenic chemotherapy. The Savanti 130 milligrams was given in a crossover fashion, AB or BA, across two treatment periods as follows. Treatment A was a two-minute IV injection. Treatment B was a 30-minute IV infusion in a 130-milliliter bag. There was a washout between the two treatment periods. Treatment emergent adverse events were assessed at 0 or 30 minutes, which is the primary endpoint, 30 to 60 minutes, and greater than 60 minutes following the initiation of the Savanti administration. The study focused on infusion site adverse events and hypersensitivity reactions such as dyspnea and anaphylaxis. The results of the study showed no treatment emergent adverse events occurred within the first 30 minutes following Savanti injection of two minutes or infusion of 30 minutes. All treatment emergent adverse events occurred at least 60 minutes after the Savanti administration and were not related to the Savanti administration. For the two-minute injection, two patients experienced a total of two adverse events involving dizziness and itching. For the 30-minute infusion, five patients experienced a total of eight adverse events. The most common were dyspnea and erythema, two cases each, and these were thought primarily due to the chemotherapy taxane injections. Conclusions of the study was that Savanti or HTX-019 130 milligrams was well tolerated when administered in crossover fashion as a two-minute injection or a 30-minute infusion in patients with cancer receiving highly emetogenic or moderately emetogenic chemotherapy. These findings demonstrate that a short injection of HTX-019 Savanti has a tolerable safety profile in patients with cancer. It may be a potential alternative method of administration in chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting prevention while decreasing the need for IV bags. Over the past two weeks, the FDA has approved HTX-019 Savanti 130 milligrams 
administered as a two-minute injection for the prevention of CINV, as well as a 30-minute infusion.